Storm Tracker 9 weather with Chief Meteorologist Justin Stapleton. All right, let's check out what's happening outside right now. Starting to see our cold front move through that is going to bring an end to the dry weather today. It's been cloudy. We haven't seen a whole lot of sunshine, maybe a break here or there, but we haven't seen the rain come down until now. Check out behind me there. Storm Tracker 9 live radar sweep showing uh, some pretty good heavy precipitation now in the north coast and moving its way around Portland. A lot of folks may be headed on up to Woodburn. Battle the crowds out towards the outlets there. Uh, you've been wet for at least the last two hours. We're starting to get some light drizzle, a little bit of light showers, precipitation here in Southern Valley as you go down towards Cottage Grove. And as Brandy mentioned, uh, kicking off in just about two hours, the Corvallis Christmas Parade. Uh, Brian and Jen, I told them, better bring their rain gear. And if you're headed out, probably should as well. We'll be dealing with some of those showers. And Heavy stuff for most of the night. Last night and earlier today has been pushing up into western Washington. Some good snow up in the Washington Cascades. You can see a little white dot there on our own Cascades. Mount Hood starting to pick up some decent snow again. Snow lines because the general uh, direction of the winds here out of the southwest are going to push back up to around 7,000 feet. So you'll see rain if you go over both of the passes here on Highway 20 and 58. And then you get up in the ski resort level, they'll start getting some snow as we're starting to get a little change over there. Some pink and white will be developing over the next couple of hours here in uh, the state of Oregon. So 51 degrees in Corvallis right now, 51 in Eugene as well. You can see all this is going to start heading southward slowly as we go overnight tonight. And temperatures probably won't drop that much. I'm going to keep us all with the southerly winds in the upper 40s, right around 50 degrees. A little breezy out towards Coos Bay and North Bend, the south coast, as the front starts to clear through. So the rain's moving in overnight. It is likely going to stick around for at least the beginning, if not all, of the Civil War game for tomorrow. If it was a later start, I'd say we'll probably be dry, but at 12 o'clock kickoff, likely going to see some showers. Drying out by Sunday, but the cold air starts to build in behind that. And the good news is, is that we'll start to see another dry period coming up early next week. Might be uh, more than just a day or so, too. So let's break down the Civil War for tomorrow. Tailgating in the upper 40s. We'll be dealing with the wet weather, I think. Kick off right around 50 degrees as we go towards 12 o'clock and low 50s by about the second half with 2, 3 o'clock. So here's what we've got. Our ridge of high pressure flattening out, heading south down into northern California. Good stream of moisture riding over top of that. And then the low that originally put this cold front together has kind of detached itself from this as well. So we've just got sort of a moisture train rolling over top of that ridge. That's sitting to the north of us, and that eventually will start to head south and move into Canada, and that cold air will spill in. But it'll dry out pretty quickly as we head towards Sunday's forecast. So let's break it down for you as we go overnight tonight into tomorrow. You can see the heavy stuff from midnight through about 6, 7 a.m. right on top of us here in the Southern Valley and down in towards the Central Coast as we go into 12 o'clock kickoff. Some scattered showers and then things kind of taper off as we go towards five six o'clock in the evening and I'll roll it all the way through Sunday afternoon. We will start off with some good cloud cover in the morning but I think we'll get back to partly cloudy maybe even mostly sunny skies by late Sunday afternoon and that trend will continue into early next week. That'll be nice to get a couple of nice dry days here uh, as we go in towards the uh, end of November. So rain at first showers tapering off later along the coast in the afternoon. They'll be very isolated probably some light drizzle Sunday morning a couple of dry days and then we'll We'll start to see a couple of stronger systems develop again by Wednesday and Thursday of next week and into Friday as well. So uh, kind of a small wedge of dry time and then more wet weather and some good winds coming along the coast. Low 50s in the Umpqua tomorrow. Scattered showers on and off most of the day. It'll dry out Sunday and then check it out. Sunny skies for both Monday and Tuesday after the fog breaks up in the morning. Rain will start pushing back in by Thursday and Friday. In the Cascades, showers, not snow. Snow lines are going to be around 7,500 feet, and the temperature is well above freezing, so it should clear the passes off pretty quickly. Scattered showers in Bend and Redmond. We'll look at temperatures there in the upper 40s and cooling off as the cold air gets there, and that'll keep overnight lows chilly below freezing in the upper 20s, but still a fairly dry forecast and rain not expected until about next Thursday. Then as we head in towards uh, the valley here, we've got temperatures in the low 50s, scattered showers as well as we head towards tomorrow's forecast Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, three days in a row. We'll see a nice little dry stretch before the showers are back. Isolated by Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we've got a couple of big strong systems that will come through, and that's going to get us back to what we saw earlier this week. But Civil War is going to be a downpour? No, I don't necessarily think a downpour. If you're tailgating, it will be, but it'll start to taper off probably as we get in towards halftime, second half. So, oh, by the end of tailgating, down. people won't even care. I know. That it's I just raining. say, you know what? You get yourself <laughs> lathered up, doesn't matter. Thanks, Justin. You're welcome.